can try. It's a baby blanket. <laughs> well, of course he's a baby balloon. Now, he, his favorite is the panda. <laughs> but he also likes Bar Bar and this chicken guy here. How did you end up with the um, At the end of the third film, when we were shooting in Georgia, uh, I said to Gabe, Gabe, get me a Belial. And they were already all spoken for, so, uh, but he got me this. He shipped me this. So. Thank you, Gabe. Of all people to have them, like you're the guy. You have them. <laughs> well, yeah. Eventually, you know. I mean, that's my whole thing. The only film I want to do is Case Four. Is that which, even a thing that they might? I'm writing one. Yeah, awesome. yeah. And I will play Belial because up till now, uh, Belial's been like a little rubber rabbit creature. I want to make him a real character. So, like a grown up. Say again? Can he be a grown up Kalilah, or? Well, he's my age, you know. I don't know if you call us grown up, but uh, <laughs> older, no doubt. Hush's Weekend of Fear, which have been pretty fucking amazing because I've been sitting at the bar like and all the guests have been coming to the bar hanging out. <laughs> so it's been great. And now I'm like in this dark, in the middle of nowhere waiting for a lift. Um, and if there was ever a fucking horror movie that was going to start, it's like right now. <laughs> so if you don't hear from me ever, ever again. <laughs> Yeah, that, that, that's what happens. I went to Wild West City and never came back. So, this is a true story. Uh, the other one wasn't called Galaxies Collide. This one is called Galaxies Collide. Because in 50 billion years, our galaxy is going to uh, run into the Andromeda galaxy, and all hell is going to break loose. <laughs> Generations have led to you. What you gonna do now, baby? It's all up to you. Stand up. This very moment screams of pain. Everything she's ever known washed away.
time is not what you think it is. Reality faults. All we have is this moment now. Live. Handed a garden, green and lush. We filled it with radioactive waste. And too many of us. done with the con I got another half a day maybe and I'm hoping my um, nephew and his wife and my great niece come and, and enjoy it because there have been some little kids at the con today and it's been really adorable these cute little kids there were two little girls who met um, Nikki Brendan and they were like so excited that they met Xander <laughs> and they were like four and they were like fangirling out these two little girls it was the most cutest thing ever and um, if I if I felt comfortable interviewing little kids or shooting videos of little kids, I would have totally interviewed them. But I, I don't feel like putting videos of little kids online is okay, so I didn't do that. But these two little girls were like, we met Xander! They both had girl shirts on, <laughs> like mutant anime shirts. It's the cutest thing ever. Um, and uh, it's been really fun. I got to chat with Nikki at the bar. Nikki and his girlfriend hung out, and um, Brian O'Halloran, and... Um, the director of um, Henry Portrait of a Serial Killer hung out at the bar with me for a while and talked about his uh, work in Hollywood and the films and the challenges he's faced. And, you know, I think making the films I make are hard. But 
working in the Hollywood and the money and the challenges. It's just, you know, I can't believe anybody ever makes a film at all. It's just ridiculously hard. Um, and then um, I talked to John Bloom, who's really there. It's really not Joe Bob. It's kind of John Bloom. It's there this weekend. And um, talked to him a little about the episode I'm doing. And he's not really thrilled about it. <laughs> so um, I told him I'd show him a rough cut. And if he's not cool with it, I won't, I won't put it out. You know, I'll just let it go because... You know, what's the point, right? If he's not happy with it. Um, I, I wish I didn't know that three months ago. <laughs> Let's see what else happened tonight. Um, there was a guy dressed as a werewolf running around and, and, and um, some of the uh, some of the guests were uh, jamming. So Brian O'Halloran, Nikki Brendan, um, Edward Young, um, Kevin from Basket Case, um, they were all jamming and stuff, and it was really fun. And we're all hanging out with some jam, and some guy in a werewolf mask came up and stuck his snout next to me and breathed on me. And I was like, "Hey, what's up?" You know, he did it to somebody else, and they were like, "Hey, what's up?" And then he did it to some little kid, and you just hear like this traumatized screaming. <laughs> and that poor kid, I felt so bad. That kid is just not going to be okay now. <laughs> and uh. Um, but otherwise, it, it's, uh, it's, it's been a really cool weekend, and, and Wildwood City is really fun, and, and you should come and see it sometime. It's, it's a really cool place. So, um, I'm just going to say goodnight now, because, uh, I, I need to get my shit together for tomorrow, because I gotta, I'm, I'll be at the con for a little bit, but I gotta drive back to New York, and, um, I gotta be sober for that, so. <laughs> anyway, sweet dreams.